So let us see if this is the end. Because we're getting there. Alright, Friends of Ringo Ishikawa. This is a beat em up. It's basically River City Ransom. Or, or whatnot. Yeah. I just have it as that. Um, I didn't play River City Ransom, but I like beat em ups. I like brawlers and arcades. Sadly, I don't know the nuance of, or at least uh, the detailed nuance of like, oh, this is a great brawler, this is a broken one, this has good mechanics, blah blah blah, 1cc, like um, Paskey would do, who's a uh, streamer on Twitch who does arcade stuff in the arcade. Um, arcade marathons. But basically, yeah, I just have it as, it's a brawler, you know. I have some of the River City games here on Steam. River City Underground, I've yet to play them, so yeah, just, just on a to-do list. Infernal Radiation. Okay, here we go. Way, way back um, in the first in the first video of this wish list, I the I believe the thing was the game was Priest Simulator. This was the game that was being streamed at the time when I discovered this company and the fact that it's a Polish company. They're doing Christian horror style games. They're doing five of them. And this is what it is, and this reminded me greatly of Project PS because basically it's um, it's it's a weird game. Basically, it's like you you go around and you fight bosses, and see the dev was uh, explaining it and whatnot. And basically, it's like you fight the boss, and it's like a, a, it's a beam battle, like all the fights are beam battles. And basically, you have red is your health, and blue is your spirit. And so basically, not only do you have to fight them physically, but you have to fight them spiritually. But also, another thing that's like, it's almost, I think, like, word for word, like something from, I had the idea for Project Pius, or Pius, is that, um, I believe the priest has to have a shield. And that there's times of that, uh, you know, when the enemy, the demon monster attacks, you put up the shield to not, not lose physical or spiritual energy, and I... And that was actually a concept for uh, PS of like, could you actually, could I design a game of which like you are, you just play totally defensively, like everything is um, shielding and reflex. No combat, no attack, you know. Um, or at least attacks would be very, not like uh, kill it till it dies, but you know, like get close enough for let's say some, to put holy water and it, it just dies or whatnot. It's, so the fact that thing, oh yeah, it uses the term trance, whatnot, so. All these like beam battles between this uh, priest, cardinal, and um, various demons. It's its own world. Oh, and the thing is, these games have a very comic book style. It it reminds me of if I knew comic books, I would say it. But you know, the font being used, the fact that I believe the the ideas and or at least the words, the colors are used is like red, yellow, and black for things it just reminds me of a comic book i want to say maybe watchmen if i knew that maybe the 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 fonts in the story remind me of the of the poster art for the movie of watchmen and i think sin city you know it just reminds me of that aesthetic you know the just the type the color and the the fonts being used so yeah infernal radiation i've yet to play test it because this has a, a demo or whatever it's early access Yep, it was here on Ultimate Summer, this thing, demo, really great. World of Final Fantasy, this is Final Fantasy, but Pokemon, yeah, it's going to be great, I get to do it, and I know not to get Maximo, because apparently Final Fantasy Maxima upgrade is not, definitely not worth it, like people saying like, I know I have zero hours, but that's because I played it originally on PlayStation, and so I'm telling you, no, like Maximo is not worth it, it's like, it's $30 for like, 50 cent DLC. Like, it's not an extra game. So, yeah. Pokemon, but in Final Fantasy. Hades. Everybody love Hades. This is the current flavor of the year. Best, actual best game ever. Um, roguelite. Isometric action. Pew Pew. And um, everything's great about it. Like, Slay the Spire. Set in Greece, Greek mythology, you can pet Cerberus. Everybody loves it. Okay, just gold standard. That's why it's on this wish list. I'm not eager to to play for it, but I know like this is like 
quadruple A, you know, of excellent. A uh, scale of 1 to 10, it's an 11. Valfaris. I believe this is recommended as uh, top 10, or top 10 good 2D run and gun shooters. Contra, Turricane, Metal Slug, you like these games? Here you go. You like Contra? You'll like this game. Valfaris. Ultinus, A Tale of Petty Revenge. Okay, this one I do know more about. Um, I didn't know about it in 2014. I think maybe 2016 is what I know about it. But basically this is... I have it because it's a parody. You know, I like I like to laugh. It's funny, haha. So this is Contra. This is Gradius. This is basically every... Um, every excellent action game from the 8 and 16-bit era and basically you're an, a space Amazon babe who's very tired of everybody sexualizing her and so she's just going out and killing everybody that gets in her way and it's very tongue-in-cheek thing so you like cla you like classic 2d action games yep this is it Ultinus a tale of petty revenge Biomutant I've had this on um, waiting for this for about two years I know nothing about the game aside from like the opening trailers it seems to be an action adventure in which you're a post-apocalyptic furry and when you drink the water you mutate and so it just it's a very intriguing world and it has mutations and powers I like that It's very intriguing. Like the the trailer for this is very atmospheric, but just absolutely no information. Okay, collapsed. Recommended on 2D roguelike pixel shooter pew pew. And that's all I got. Collapsed. Has mixed reviews, so I guess I'm a bit more intrigued at it. But I don't know with these games, like I, I can barely, <laughs> I can't beat the the good. The standard good quality ones. Nuclear Throne. How am I going to do this? I think I did maybe enjoy it for the combat, or at least the preview of the combat. You have the trees and whatnot. Maybe it's for the combo, uh, various uh, weapon combos and whatnot. Okay, collapsed. Card Apocalypse. Okay, I have this because it's by the guys who did the Guild of Dungeoneering. So the Guild of Dungeoneering is a very good, funny deck builder game. So it's made by these guys. So basically, is um, you have your little pawn that moves through dungeon, and you fight monsters, and it's uh, it's via deck building um, thing. So they have the monsters have their deck of different moves. You have your deck of different moves, and you choose it. So you have your hit points. They have their hit points. So here you can do a magic attack, heal to attack, or heal attack and block. This guy's doing three attack but loses heart, so this would block it. This could mitigate it. So yeah. It's deck building. You get items, and the items you choose is how you actually do the deck building and crafting. And here we go, like the scimitar. This will increase more like physical attacks. This will give you more defensive cards. This will give you more magic. So you kind of tweak your characters. I like the classes. It's very funny. You have a barbarian. You have a shape shifter. You have the actual card dealer and whatnot. So all the single guild of dungeoneering. Card apocalypse is by the same company. And basically, you're a kid in the 90s, and um, you're basically playing Yu-Gi-Oh! or Magic the Gathering, except it becomes real. And so I know it's gonna be it's gonna be very funny. It's not gonna be probably as complex as Magic the Gathering or Yu-Gi-Oh! But it just it's just those games, and it's an RPG and it has a story. Which um, for people who know Magic the Gathering, there's the game Chandelar, or even Pokemon. You have the Pokemon trading card games. So it's like how come Magic the Gathering has not done another RPG type of game where you have decks and you go through a story and build and fight all these interesting duels? Just like the Pokemon trading card game, which is an RPG. There's, you have your, you, it's a Pokemon trading card game. You have your deck. There's eight gyms. The gym leaders have their own themes. You go beat and you do the Elite Four. It's an RPG story. So Card Apocalypse seems to be that. It's an RPG and you're Yu-Gi-Oh! or playing Yu-Gi-Oh! in the 90s. 
or Magic the Gathering. Funny. Great. Just waiting it for on sale. Okay, please stories. This is um, squad-based type game, tactical, top-down. And I believe I it was I got it through the recommendation of being the police theme in which you have to address it's not just it's not military kill all the things. It's not zombies survive and craft. It's police and so that you have to de escalate the situation. So you don't want to kill people, you want to prevent people from getting killed and maybe other things such as finding evidence, drug busts, bombs, whatnot. So it's interesting. Uh, for the police theme. Like, I think I have 911 rescue operator for that type of deal, you know. Um, do you like police quest or whatnot, or is the police theme? Okay, it, it, I'm not gaga for the theme, but I'm just interested in it because I not experienced it. Experience the hyper, the whole, the whole thing? No, no thank you. There is no game wrong dimension. I saw this on Jesse Cox doing a screen, um, doing a stream of this, or maybe a recommend or a recommended YouTube video of it. So this is a third-person game. This is not a third person. This is a game that breaks the fourth wall. So this is like the Stanley Parable, Psycho Mantis. You know, the game is about um, exploring the game, and basically it's. Um, Oh, it's like the cartoon Duck Amuck, where it's basically Daffy Duck and the animator interacting. So basically, you're the player, you're interacting with the game, and so basically the, the actual video game or the developer is kind of upset that you're breaking all these things. So yeah, it's it's a funny game. It would, I guess, be more adventure, uh, point-and-click adventure, because you're trying to figure out you're trying to figure out all the ways to thwart the programmer as he tries to prevent you from playing this game that's not finished. So uh, very funny. Go in blind. Go in blind. Okay, there is no game, wrong dimension. Carol Blaster, it's just recommended very frequently. I think I just add it onto my list of it's just very simple. It's um I wanna say it's an Amiga or Commodore style run and gun shooter. So you like you no know, Contra but Amiga style or Atari pre Nintendo style. Just very recommended. I suspect it'll be short and sweet. Maybe that's what it is. Like I'm attracted to its 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 shortness and its uh fight of the gods. Okay, kind of a uh, if 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 gushing about priest simulator at the beginning and talking about this um uh, project PS. I like theology. I like philosophy. I do that um, openly in the video games. So how can I ignore a fighter game of the various pantheons so you have christian greek hindu uh confucian is it taoist all fighting so you have if you go through the um if you go through the achievements it lists the characters but basically it's um Okay, we have Buddha, we have Thor, we have Jesus, we have Moses, we have Anubis. No, this is a Moses. This this is not Thor. This is, oh, okay, we have Zeus. I want to say this is Guan Yu. This is the god of war from Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Um, I believe Lady of Mercy. So, yeah. Jesus, Zeus, Odin, Buddha, Anubis... It's the super best friends, Moses, is just going out, just being the crap out of each other. And people say it's like, it's not shovelware, it's not, um, this is not bait. Guang Gong, yeah, this is the guy, Three Kingdoms guy. I'm probably nothing. Athena, Mazu, um, I do not know her, I should know her. Uh, Sif from Norse. Sif is female? I thought she was... I thought Seif is a sword. Ah, I don't, I'm not very up to uh, Norse mythology. Santa. Um, so yeah, they say like, oh, the DLC trailer. It's a fighter game, it's a theology, it's uh, religious themed, and it's not garbage. So yeah, it's just like, I, I gotta get it. 
Blossom Tales of the Sleeping Kingdom. I believe... Okay, this... Okay, Blossom Tales. I think this was the first game I added to my wish list because it was on Switch. Or is recommended, like, new, coming to Switch, Blossom Tales. So this is Zelda. Um, 2D Zelda, top-down. Uh, very good game. Yeah, I believe this was the one that's, like, convinced me. It's like, oh, wait, I, I don't know anything... Sadly, uh, uh, Total Biscuit uh, became uh, uh, succumbed to cancer. He was deceased. Um, I was like, "Crud! Where am I going to find out about new Steam games that aren't garbage and like give a real authentic um, description of them?" And it's like, "Oh wait, Nintendo doesn't allow everything on it. If it gets on Nintendo, it's very good." And the fact that this is Zelda, you know. And Nintendo is not suing for copyright infringement. It has to be a good game. So, like, this was the first, you know, Switch is a good backup of her. Like, where do I find the good computer game, Steam games these days? Okay, Double Cross. Oh, my goodness. This is love-hate for me because it has been on sale for so many times and the top of the list of, like, cheapest game, you know, biggest bang for buck. You know, it's always 85% off. And this is a basic platformer. It's platformer. The The basis of the game is jumping. It's modern. It's not an indie platformer. I do not like... I've not played Super Meat Boy, but I know I would hate it. I do not like trial and error gameplay. And it seems that the the gimmick of this platformer is kind of like a grappling hook type of deal. You know, you grab and you pull stuff. So it's a bit like Bionic Commando or the little gravity sections in Mario Galaxy. And the reason I don't buy it is because everybody says, like, it's it's mediocre. It's just, like, it doesn't, it's it's ho-hum. It's like, you think I'd be right up my alley, but it's just more of, like, I'll, I'll, I'll pass, you know. It's just, I don't know, like I said, it's love and hate. Like, I should just be all over this because it's just average, but I'm not. Just very weird. Bot Gaiden. I believe recommended, yeah, recommended... From a top 10 list, this is just a good, they recommended like good pixel game or good classic action game. Run and gun, shooter, pewter, ninja guide and contra, metal slug, shinobi. Get to the end of stage, kill everybody while you do it. Not pew pew like Mega Man. Those are kind of a bit more obvious, but pew pew I think like uh, ninja guide. Okay, song for a hero. Recommendation of a of platformer thingy, so I believe this is close to Wonder Boy in style. Um, Magic Sword, arcade RPG. So you just go or uh, Zelda two, but maybe not as not as unforgiving. So you just run and hack and slash. Yep, this is from a uh, top ten list. So yeah. Songs for a Hero. There's supposedly like a PS1 game that's like... No, there is a PS1 game that's like very... Very great. You know, so this is more... From what I understand, this is more arcade style. Um, but maybe not as unforgiving if you can get... If you can get that type of distinction. Time Sorcerer? Time Lord? The one in Neo Geo where you're the wizard and it's like... But the wizard, you actually have like a wizard hat. You can turn into Shinobi, but you usually turn into a red dragon... Yeah, very, like I said, that, that's the gist from these pictures. I don't even think I've seen a preview of the... No, I think I have. Yeah, because these are from top ten lists, are usually from YouTube. Okay, Mind Seas. 2D Metroidvania Sci-Fi. Okay. This is top ten list of recommended Metroidvanias. This seems to be, like, the closest to actual Metroid in the style. Like, so if you really want, like, more of Samus Aran like that type of world and metroid style exploration so when i'm i i complained a couple of videos back like i don't think i like metroidvania as a genre because i don't like the metroid games because it just corridors and tunnels which are very atmospheric but you basically are just painting in the mini map and you're literally blowing up every bomb and wall so if you actually want something extremely like metroid Mind Seas is like that. 
Okay, Children of Morcha. I don't know. Um, recommendation of roguelike games? I think it's just recommendation of roguelike games. Just, just um, good action roguelike, uh, action shooter roguelike games. I don't know. Ever since The Witcher, everybody now loves Poland for like its uh, game devs, just like uh, Magicka was for Scandinavia and other things. So yeah, Children of Morcha. Or maybe it was on a, a recommendation list. Or maybe it was for the companies, 8, 11-bit studios, because with This War of Mine and Frostpunk, yeah. I think I got Children of Morcha just through Frostpunk, This War of Mine. Okay, World of Horror. This is like Shadowgate, classic PC adventure games, but the aesthetic is Junji Ito. It has kind of turn-based battles. I'm very interested in it. I want to play it, but I know I will buy it and not get it. And even though it's an early access, it's basically finished. It is a finished game. Only thing early access is just adding more content and that, and that it's like more scenarios. Because this also has Steam Workshop, Steam Labs, the workshop thing in which you can create and design your own scenarios. So this is basically a finished game. It's not early access. It's just early access because they just keep wanting to polish it. And it's more of like they have nobody to just come in and say, you're done. It's done. You know, finish it. Everything else be DLC. Stop wasting your time. Okay. Really good. Really interesting. There's no jump scares, and I think the only real horror thing that people may not like is just like maybe the gore, because Junji Ito really has a knack of creating the unsettling. Okay, Unworthy. This is from Iron Pineapple. Souls-like game was recommended. I believe I have I'm more invested in this as a Souls-like because there's something in this that he pointed out and I believe the thing here with unworthy is you cannot jump and so the way you traverse through the game is by using the various weapons so I like that with um, Seiken Densetsu with the mana series and how in, the, in Final Fantasy Adventure, Mystic Quest, Secret of Mana your different weapons actually are used as tools to go through the environment and it's less annoying than Zelda games. Because Zelda, you can chop grass and you have the grappling hook and the 2D Zeldas. And you can lift up rocks and whatnot. Less annoying. So basically, yeah, without jumping. There you go. So this is Souls-like, 2D. You can't jump, but every weapon is very well designed and unique and used for various combat, various strategy, or actual mo motion like you have you have to use a spear as a pole vault or as a hook to climb up okay unworthy neon chrome this has been recommended to me very often in in curation oh and i believe it's also i got it from co-optimus is like this is smash tv top town twin stick shooter robotron Pew Pew, co-op, just enjoy. Is it co-op? No, it's not co-op. No, I think it is co-op. So just, um, just shooty, pewty, oldish game, but seems to be very good. Ideally, I play co-op with a friend just like I do with my brawlers. Don't have that, so it's kind of on my, eh. And also, I admit, similar to brawlers, like, I don't necessarily know the nuance between the twin stick shooters like it grabs near or it doesn't like i don't know why i like dark stalkers as opposed to um killer instinct or mortal Kombat or whatever you know this is just very very turn my brain off i like it or i don't don't want to think about it okay the last faith metroidvania religion based i got it from metroidvania uh, recommendation lists list but um, yeah, I got it. It's religion-based or, or religion, Christian mythology, uh, Christian mythos as the basis. So yeah, I'm just very intrigued. The the trailer for this, for the snake coming out, is very intense, very good-looking, very good-looking game. But don't know about play this because it's it's yet to be released. More on the fire. Okay. Sooner a sacrifice for a redemption. 
this is a souls like but it's not exploration it's a boss rush so it's basically like you're a person in hell fighting the seven deadly sins i found this out very early when the souls when dark souls kind of became like popular even though i knew about dark souls before it became popular i know the hipster but i know through monster hunter shepherd sd is it shepherd shepherd from all something awful or youtube he did a let's play of monster hunter try when it actually came out for the wii and that's how i learned about monster hunt really learned about monster hunter and how to play it and i played i played it on the wii and used them as tutorials and basically as he was exploring monster hunter portable i believe he brought up or also did like this is kind of like monster hunter and it was demon souls and then i believe dark souls and he actually did the co-op and, and showed it with the uh, things and i believe shepherd now is um is it sd shepherd shepherd sd but now he does teamwork cast that's his company with um his other friends whose names i don't know i recognize their voices um one's in german and one's in texan texas between learning about demon souls and dark souls actually becoming popular i picked this up as like it's a souls like and it's religious based so like okay it's on my it's on the wish and it's on the wish list it's it was on early access for uh, quite some while so yeah hipster hipster cred okay but they say it's like it's not very good so yeah boss rush type game more so than exploration or more in-depth than souls okay way back into the first video i talked about the puzzle game that's also programming and that you're making your machine's making widgets but it's it's programming this is the same thing um this is infinifactorio and so you're you're supposed to make different cubes but the thing is you only give the instructions for the cubes so i'm pretty sure if you are familiar with factorio and that having little machines to make more machine to make to do things you have machines machines to do things and then you connect them to actually make them do things specifically without you manually doing the commands that is programming that's this type of game let's see did they do the other things yep they did space chem so they seem to be doing lots of programming oh and magnum opus yeah space chem magnum opus they're all the same type of things you know what i'll add space chem or do i have space chem i think i have space chem so yeah even you can see from the screenshot this is very similar to probably looks like factorio you know you have the you make the things and you you do the things metal units i want to say it's recent ad good pixel art shooty pewty type of game contra ninja gaiden shinobi mega man maybe not specifically mega man um enjoyable pew pew type game metal unit and with some story it seems and some rpg elements i'm thinking maybe just um specifically like you equip items and you have different traits and perks and stats okay helmut badass from hell okay i added this recently i believe it was recommended it was via a halloween sale like okay here's all these halloween games or, or at least uh so this is one i think i saw like in the advertisement of it so this is twin chick shooter very tongue-in-cheek um you're a hell how hell hound dog killing things looks fun no idea twin stick um robotron witch hunt okay religious theme because it seems we're in colonial area and hunting witches i don't remember i think this i have this down as a this was in a bundle for i believe a slender man clone game and so like the slender man game is basically it's like okay you're in the woods you get 11 pieces of paper something's chasing you there's another game that was like that i think i was looking at that other game the slender man clone and this popped up so this is a witch hunt um detective adventure game first person not huge on my to get list but you know uh fits the the uh, the aesthetic maybe it's on a, it was on a recommendation from other horror games alchemist adventure i 
I think it's just a recommendation of RPGs for 2020. Nothing in particular. Alchemy theme. I like alchemy, or at least I like uh, I like pr uh, collecting pretty colored things and putting them together for stuff. Solve puzzles of my so maybe so I think it's the alchemy theme that I like, and it's an RPG, which is why I have it here. Alchemist adventure. Yeah, I think this here with the the various elements: fire, water, earth, air. That you have 99 of them that you use them. Maybe it's kind of a the card thing like um, Lost Kingdoms or whatnot. Early access, don't buy, get out the kinks. Okay, and I think I will end it here, even though this is not a, a, a whopper of a game. So until next time, I am Tiro, and have fun gaming. See ya.